Hello everyone, welcome to Break and Remake. I'm your host, Joan. Today our co-host is... Hi, I'm Natalie from The Sunshine Girl. Yay! We're going to teach you how to do sustainable food wrapping. Woo! Alright, let's get started. I bartered this beeswax with my friend Melissa. I gave her half of my cocoa butter for this. All right, let's get started. So first we have to grate enough beeswax to cover our fabric. Oh God, this is tough. Ta -ha. So this takes a lot of muscle. Get the beeswax pellets. That way you don't have to spend so much time grating. I feel like it's a good exercise for me to go ahead and grate this. Uh, suffering builds character. We're gonna set the oven to 185. So this fabric just came from my extra fabric pile and it was just some remnants that I wasn't really gonna be using. I used the pinky shears to go ahead and cut the edges so that it wouldn't fray. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle some of the beeswax that's been grated over the fabric. I'm gonna put a little more on. Shh, don't tell. Let's stick that in the oven. This is my big pan that I found at the Ambit. It took me a few rounds of looking at different thrift stores before I found this. So once we use this for wax, it's wax forever. Same with our brush that we're gonna be using. Once we get wax on it, it's gonna be wax forever. So we're gonna check on the one that we put in the oven right now. Ooh, that looks really good. So it looks like we don't need to brush it too much, but maybe we wanna add, we've got a little, few little areas that need a little bit more wax. So I'm gonna switch them and we'll add more wax on this bad boy. So now we're gonna take the wax fabric and we're gonna actually hang it up to dry. Don't burn yourself. Is it hot? It's warm. I wasn't expecting that. Mm. Is it dry already? Kind of. Kind of. What if we did this? And then just stuck it back in there. So I had a few little spots on mine that needed to get refilled, so I put more wax down. We started another one, so we're gonna wax this one too. I'm just gonna push the wax around. I'm kind of just doing it for shiggles at this point. We did find something that was very interesting. Mine didn't stick the way the other pan did. So let's go ahead and say a non-stick surface is gonna be better. Your fabric sheets are gonna dry super, super fast. There was hardly any drippage, and before you know it, you're gonna have a dry and super sticky beeswax food cover. Thank you everyone for watching. If you like this video, please thumb up and subscribe. We'll see you next time. And remember, sustainable crafting is super easy. You just use what's around. That's a wrap. Bye. A beeswax.